Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove that these two sets are equal. To do that we're going to use the method of double inclusion. So we'll show that each set is a subset of the other set. Before we start the proof, um, let me just clarify some notation here. So when you see something like a complement, um, this can also be written as a complement. Both are the same thing depending on the author of the book or whoever decided to write it down. And it's basically the set of all x such that x is not an a. So, so every, it's everything that's not an a. When you see this other symbol here, this backward slash b set minus a, this can also be written as b minus a. It's called set minus. This is the set of all x such that this means that x is in b and x is not an a. So it's called the relative complement, or I like to just call it set minus. So it's everything in B that's not an A, whereas this one is just everything that's not an A, right? So they're a little bit different. Okay, so proof. Let's go through this carefully. I have not done this problem before, so I'm going to take my time. <laughs> so we'll show this direction first. So basically that means that um, we're going to take an element in this set here on the left, and we somehow have to show it's uh, an element of the set on the right. So take any. You can say suppose or assume or suppose x is arbitrary. I'll just say take any. I just like to mix it up from time to time. Uh, element uh, in this set here on the left. So it'll be a union b intersected with a complement. Okay, so x is in this set. We have to show that it's in B but not in A, right? That's what this means. It's in B but not in A. All right, I guess now what we can do is use the definition of intersection, right? So thus, uh, x is in A union B, and intersection means it's in both. So you put an and. So both of these statements are true. So it's in the union and it's in the complement of A. Okay, so I guess now what we can do is uh, we can rewrite what union means and we can rewrite what complement means. So this means, so this means, I'm going to be really careful here. Well, what does it mean to be in the union? It means uh, it's in A, it's in B, or it's in both. And the way we express that mathematically is by using the or symbol. So this means that X is in A or x is in b. And again, this entire statement, x and a or x and b, is true under one of the three conditions. x is in a, x is in b, or x is in both. Okay. I'm going to put this in like little parentheses here. And what does it mean to be in the complement? Well, it means that x is definitely not in a. So x is not in a. This means not in, right? Not, not an element of a. So both of these conditions are true. And we're trying to show uh, that x is in b, uh, but it's not in a, right? But it's not in a. So you can use um, some, some mathematical logic here. Um, the and distributes over the or. So what you can do is this means, so thus, this means x is in a and x is not in a. You can do that. It distributes. So thus, x is in a and x is not an a, which makes no sense, <laughs> right, which makes no sense. x can't be an a and not an a, right? Or x is in b and, whoops, b, I wrote the wrong thing down, b, and x is not an a. So again, you're allowed to do that. This is something from mathematical logic. Do you need to be a master at mathematical logic? Should you go back and, like, investigate that? I don't think so. I, I think as long as you understand how this distributes uh, and a couple other things as they arise, life is good and you can, you can move into set theory and, and deeper math. Uh, certain things do come up, but this is one of them, right? This is one of them. So, so the and distributes over like that. So you can write x in a and x not in a or x in b and x not in a. So this makes no sense. So this is nonsensical. X and A and X not an A, so that's useless. So all we have then is X and B and X not an A. So X is in B and X is not an A. So what does that mean? 
right? That means that, well, that's, that's up here. <laughs> it means that x is in the, in the relative complement. So it's in b set minus a. So x is in b set minus a. So we took an element. We took an element in this set, and we showed that it was in this set. So this shows, this shows that the first set, uh, parentheses A union B intersection A complement is contained in B set minus A. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we got to go the other way, so let's do it. So let's go the other way. I'll put a little symbol here to let you know which way we're going, and I'll put it in a fancy box. So now we'll take any element in this set here, B set minus A. So take any, take any element X in B set minus A. And we have to show um, that it's in this set here. So an A union B intersected uh, with the um, complement of A. Okay. So I guess now what we can do is we can write down uh, what this means. So this means, this means, well, what does it mean to be in B set minus A, right? It means that X is in B and X is not in A. X is not in A. And let's try to see where we're going. Um, in, in proofs, a lot of times, most of the time, if you don't know where you're going, um, you can't get there. You can't finish the proof. So where are we going? Let me use a different color here. We're going here, right? This is we, where we are trying to go. So X not an A, we've got that. So we've got, that's going to be this, right? We have that. Uh, and then the and, we've got that as well, right? We have the intersection. Oh, this is nice. And then we need X in the union. Well, we actually have that. Watch this. So thus, remember, it's in the union if X is in A or X is in B. And this statement in its entirety, the one I've written in parentheses, is true if x is in A, if x is in B, or if it's in both. But we know x is in B, so therefore this statement is true in its entirety. So we can make this leap. We can go from x and B to x and A or x and B. It's allowed. And x is not in A. Let's change that to x is in A complement. So again, this is the step I feel that some people have uh, issue with. So going from X and B to X and A or X and B is allowed because this entire statement will be true as long as one of them is true. So thus, well, what do we have? We have X and A or X and B. That means that X is in the union. And X is in a complement. So what does that mean? That means it's in the intersection. So X is in A union B intersected with a complement, intersected with a complement. And so we've taken an element in this set and we've shown it's in this set. So thus, thus B set minus A is contained in A union B intersected with a complement. So we've shown that they are a subset of each other, so therefore they must be equal. So the set A union B intersected with a complement is equal to B set minus A. So, and that completes the proof. When you finish your proof, you should always put a symbol. So I went through that kind of slowly and provided more detail. Um, like if I was doing this on my own, I'd rush through it, but hopefully, hopefully it helped and it made a little bit of sense um, and it helped you uh, improve your proof writing skills. That's it.